Welcome to this KDE Tips and Tricks screencast. And the last time you show, I show you this desktop, this Unity-like desktop. It was the, my first attempt to create a Unity-like desktop. And some of you said, yeah, you showed the basic, but this just does not look like Unity at all. Just do a little bit more tweaking here and there, and then it looks a lot better. And therefore, I created this second screencast here in uh, now that will show you how you can tweak it a little bit there and here to or here and there to just make it a little bit more look alike unity so first of all what we want to do is change the wallpaper so no, normally we won't uh, see an empty wallpaper in unity so let's just go to this is a very simple thing just open up your web browser search for the ubuntu 12.10 wallpaper you can see i've already did it just click it download it and when you downloaded it just go to your downloads directory drag it to your desktop set it as wallpaper and perhaps you have to just like me go to the settings and set it to scaled and cropped and then it looks a lot better by the way you can also disable desktop icons in here which by going to the default desktop in here um, but you can also delete the desktop icons if you don't like them but if you want to keep the classic uh, you can just put desktop icons on the desktop thingy then just leave it uh, to this folder view without desktop markets. So this is this. The next thing they want to do is just change the icon theme. Just go to system settings, go to application appearance, go to icons, and here you can see that I have Humanity and Humanity Dark, the original Ubuntu icons already installed. There is a Humanity PNG you can get from Get New Themes. Just search for Humanity. And I found out this works a lot better than all the other th things from kdlook.org. Just in install this one, just like I did, and then apply. Apply it, and as you can see, it almost works. Just go. It take, takes a little while for the uh, dash to refresh, but you can see it works. And I now have the uh, Unity or Ubuntu-like icons on my desktop. Then the next thing that we want to do is change the plasma theme. So let me go, or maybe, yeah, first of all, let's change the plasma theme because it's easier. Let's go to workspace appearance and under desktop theme, just click on get new themes, search for ambience. And there's an ambience theme. I've already installed it. And then you can just choose ambience in here, hit apply. Wait a few seconds and then you now have the ambience theme enabled. What is still, or what might be necessary to do is just uh, re-log in to refresh the icons. As you can see here, some of the icons are still uh, in the old theme. But you can see if I click in here, the theme looks pretty, pretty cool, pretty damn cool. And yeah, this is basically the ambience theme for the KD Plasma desktop. So uh, this works also for the menus, as you can see here. Use right color style, apropos color. There we can also set the color scheme scheme under application appearance. If you go to colors, um, normally you won't have the color for ambience. You can get new schemes in here just by searching for ambience. I don't know if it's only a bug in my case or an uh, overall bug. If I click on install in here, ah, it installed. Oh, okay, ambience ish, uh, for example, you can choose this one. Let me just test it out. Hit apply, and now I have an ambience ish uh, look and feel. Let me open up the file manager. Might be a little bit too light, so let's just go. To get new schemes and search again for ambience and ambience. If I can type correctly, then I can find something also. And there's ambience Ubuntu also, and there is, I think, the ambience like color scheme for KDE or the ambience like. Just install this one. 
and then yeah, the MNC like. And this one looks a little bit different. Just a little bit different, as you can see, the icons, uh, the the color of the uh, buttons uh, is a lot better. What you can do also is if you have Qt uh, Curve installed, is go to Configure, and there's also the option to uh, enable some presets. And there are some cool presets already available for Ambience. Let me just look if I have it installed. By the way, no, I don't have it installed. But I can, but for this case I have to go to my web browser, in this case Chromium, go to kdelog.org and then just search for Ambience Qt Curve and it will then have Ambience for KDE or the Neptune Ambience, by the way, this is one style that I created you can also download. Um, looks like this. Ah, just, just, just download it. So it's an overall theme pack which allows you to create the ambience theme. It's an additional version, so uh, there might be some things going wrong, but if you download this one, you will get all the stuff that I used here for creating this uh, beautiful looking. Uh, yeah, ambience like theme and there's also an ambience like a uh, cute core theme uh, there's the humanity icon theme directly web from ubuntu there's uh, color the scheme uh, it's, it's almost the same that i'm using here and there's an ambience aurora theme and the ambience plasma theme that i'm also using in here so uh what i will grab is the uh, ambience like cute core theme i will extract it uh, let's put it on desktop so I can find it, click close here, close this, and then I can just hit import on the Qt Curve settings. Uh, go to my desktop and then click on the admins like Qt Curve. And you can see, I can hit apply here, hit apply here, and now I have a more admins looking um, yeah, theme, overall look and feel. Uh, I normally like the um, yeah, the normal um, borders of uh, of the oxygen theme, but if you don't like them, you can uh, either get new decorations and search for ambience, or uh, just take the ambience package that I showed you. Let me go to home, downloads Neptune ambience KDE package, and there is the ambience error. Just let me extract this one and I think I can import it directly. Oh no, I cannot import it directly in here. So I have to just uh, let me then just extract this to my home folder dot kde share apps and then I think it's under desktop theme. Here you can just let's overwrite the old file and then it should let me just go to workspace appearance again. Should appear in here as you can see here. I have the ambience theme now. Hit apply and now you have an ambience like theme. But I normally don't like the ambience theme. You will see why because if I maximize, you can see it's a, it's a tiny, tiny little border that I get now and you might see that there is a white space between the actual controls of the toolbar and the uh, anti border, and I don't, or the title bar, and I don't know why exactly. It's also in the original um, original uh, ambience uh, K Win theme, Aurora theme. It's already there, so it, it's a bug that that might be fixed sometimes somewhere. I don't know. So I like the normal um, oxygen theme decoration. You can also check, of course, if you don't like the glow in this case, you can change the glow by going to configure decorations and then you can fine tune the shadows, for example, uh, don't use active glow or use a different color, just like for example, use an orange-like color, hit OK, 
and then you have an orange like color if you if you like this glowing otherwise you can just turn it off you can configure the buttons so i can use custom title bar button positions in here and then put put my buttons on the left as you can see here hit apply and now i have my buttons on the left just like in unity minimize maximize i think i somehow made a mistake here maximize so in this case it's better maximize minimize and close so i think this is everything for this guide if you have some tips and tricks uh, or how to make it a little bit better more looking like unity then please use the comments under the video and i hope you enjoyed this screencast and yeah thanks for watching until the next time